more Toyota Tacoma features you wish your truck had and can. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. I've got four features today, four of them, that you wish your truck had, but you can have these. I'll leave links down below to the install videos for these, just so you can see how simple they are to add. Now, let's start off with number one. Number one has to be the Pedal Commander. Now, I've done lots of videos on the Pedal Commander, of course. I cannot stress how much of a difference this little device makes on your Toyota Tacoma. If you didn't realize, and I'm sure you have, the Toyota Tacoma has built-in lag. This device, this little box right here, gets rid of the lag in the Toyota Tacoma. It is simply amazing how much of a difference the Pedal Commander will make. I've got to say, I was skeptical at first before I ever put one of these in, but after doing it, I swear by it. I would never have a third generation Toyota Tacoma again, or any vehicle out there that has throttle lag without the Pedal Commander. It's a simple plug and play install, all kinds of settings and things on it, and it will change your driving experience for the better. Next up are these little dinky side mirrors that I've attached to the side mirrors. Of course, I'm talking about this right there. Now, what that does is allow you to see down the side of the truck. And you may notice there is a bucket sitting there that of course I have skillfully backed up aside, but did not hit. Or maybe I placed it there before I started the video. But you get the idea. This allows me to see things beside the wheels so that I don't scrape up against anything or destroy anything. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves is curb rash, particularly on my own vehicles. With this little mirror on the side, I can see when I'm up against something. Like those curbs at the McDonald's. Ever scrape one of those? I know a lot of people have. I've seen a lot of rubber on the side of those curbs. But you may notice that in looking at just the rear view mirror itself, I can't see that bucket down there. There's no way I can see sitting in the driver's seat like this that that bucket is that close to the truck. Now I can. And if you look over here at the other side, you'll notice I put one over there as well. I like this so much that I decided I had to have another. What that allows me to do in this case, in my case, is park up next to the curb there and not go into the gutter so that I block the water. Really love these, and I have to say, for the money, you can't beat it. They're dirt cheap, very easy. They just stick on, pretty simple. By the way, there will be links to the install videos down below. Check those out. Also, a discount code for the Pedal Commander. Click that, you can save a little bit of money there too. Next up, we have the dreaded grab handle. This is a love-hate relationship for me. You know, the Tacoma comes without one. It has one over there on the passenger side, but none on the driver's side, at least on the third generations. This I put on, and it was very frustrating to do. If you tried to do it yourself, there's a screw that you have to put in, and you just have to have the right angle. Gotta say, it took me probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half, to finally get that screw lined up right in the hole so that it would grab and I could actually tighten it down. Now, even though it is horribly frustrating to put in, the finished product is great. What it does is allow me from having to grab on to other areas to get in and out of the truck, like putting pressure on the side of the door when the door's open over here. You know, years ago, I'll tell you a little story. I had, I think it was a 1970 or 72 Buick Skylark. It was very old. And that car had sagging doors, probably because they were very heavy. Maybe people were hanging on the doors back in the 70s. Who knows what people were doing? But anyway, the doors had sagged down. I actually periodically had to grab with both hands under the edge of the door and pull it back up 
to bend those hinges back so that I could actually shut the door. It would get so bad that the clasps would not grab and I could not shut the doors. That's one thing that I wouldn't want to happen to my Tacoma because I'm always grabbing and leaning on the door to get in and out of the truck. The steering wheel area. I know a lot of people grab onto the steering wheel to get in and out. The problem with that, of course, is you put extra wear on the steering wheel, both in the mechanics of it down here itself and on the finish as well. You know, if you wear a wedding ring like I do, and it has a sharp edge to it, every time you run it across the slither, you chance cutting into it. Check your steering wheel out. Any little cuts or slices in it because you use your hand against that wheel to get in and out of the truck, I've had that happen. Not anymore because I've got the, the driver's side grab handle and it works perfectly. Again, as frustrating as it is. Lastly, we've got the anytime front facing, I guess in rear facing camera. What this is, it's a very simple install. You pop this trim piece off, it just pulls off. And then a couple of screws, I think there's four of them. The radio comes out and it really is a plug and play application. You go ahead, pull the radio, plug all the connections in, run the wiring through the firewall up to the front where you place the camera, however and wherever you want. And then down below here, you go ahead and pop one of these blanks off and put your switch in. The kit comes with all of this, by the way. Now, what this does, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you. Right now, we're in park. And I want to show you that with this installed and not activated, if I go to reverse, let's go ahead, pull that down. Now we're in, oops, we're in drive. If I go to reverse, the camera pops up. So it does not affect the functionality of the camera in normal mode. So now we're going to go back to park. And if I wanted to see what was in front of me, I'd just go ahead, push the button, and you can see that's the view of what I'm looking outside the front of the truck. If I want to go to the rear, I do the same thing. Just hit the rear button, and you can see there's the beaver tail down there. And then, of course, just back to normal so that you have normal operation. Now, full disclosure, let's show you. If I was in drive, like I am now, You'll notice I still just have the screen, but if I was driving down the road and wanted to activate the front camera, I'd go ahead and push it. It lights up, by the way, you can see there. I've go, gone ahead and pushed it. You can see outside of the front of the truck. And then if I was towing something behind me, let's say I wanted to check the connection where I'm hooked up, the trailer, just go to rear. You can see it's lit up there and you can see what's behind you. Very nice safety feature, I think, if you just want to check on your rig, see what you're towing back there behind you, and the camera will stay on the entire time that you have that switch activated. A lot of the ones, the OEM types, that front camera will shut off after so long. It has a timeout feature, probably so it's not distracting. I don't know. I don't find it distracting anyway, nor do I leave it on all the time, so not really a big deal. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, excuse my hand, and let you guys know four Toyota Tacoma features that you wish you had and you can. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have any of these. Are they as profound as I seem to make them be? I think they are. Let me know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.